The Ralph Wiggum plugin is taking the entire internet by storm and might be the most powerful plugin for Claude Code ever. It allows Claude Code to work for hours by itself, completing massive tasks it was never able to do before. It can literally build entire complex applications without any human oversight. In this video, I'll go over how the Ralph Wiggum plugin works, how to get it installed, and how to use it so you can start building amazing applications immediately. Let's get into it. So real Real quick, here's how the Ralph Wiggum plugin works. After we go over this, I'll walk through exactly how to set it up and use it, but it basically turns Claude Code into an autonomous agent. It is able to work endlessly for literally hours or even days at a time to complete a full task. If you say, hey, build me an entire application, here's all the requirements, it will go and it won't stop until it's done working. The difference between how Claude Code works without Ralph Wiggum and how it works with it is when it works without it, it will kind of guess when it's done. So when it feels like it completed your ask, it'll say, okay, all done. But with this plugin, it's constantly going back and checking to see if it completed all your asks and goals exactly as you stated them. So it will just keep going and going and going until it completes all your goals. It's basically a while loop. So this is a little more technical, but it basically is like a, a while loop where until a goal is complete, it does not stop working. So what is it? good for? It is good for completing massive tasks and full features. These are your big, big tasks. If you're looking to build a massive complex feature or you even want to one shot a really complex application, you want to use the Ralph Wiggum plugin. But it is not great for small tasks. This is just overly complex. If you're trying to get done a small task or make a tweak or change one tiny feature, you want to use your simple Claude Code workflow for that. But for anything bigger than that, you can use Ralph Wiggum. Wiggum, and this is amazing for multitasking. So what I'll show you how to do in a second is how to do multiple things at once. Have Ralph Wiggum go, build out massive features while you're doing and tweaking small things. And here is just a quick preview of what a Ralph Wiggum prompt looks like. And I'll go into this in detail. This is going to be super simple. You, you don't need to be a technical genius to get this done. Let's dive into how to use it and how this is all set up. So I'm here inside Ghosty. This is my custom terminal. This is how I use Claude Code now. If you want a guide video on how I use Ghosty to do Claude Code now, let me know down below if you want that video. I might make that my next one if there's enough demand. So what we want to do is open up Claude in a new folder. So I'm in this new project folder we're doing here. I'm going to open up Claude by typing in Claude. We are now in Claude code. Then you want to put in this command to install Ralph Wiggum. So I put this down below. Feel free to pause, copy this, do this alongside with me. I think the best way to consume my videos is to do everything alongside me. So pause, take this, plug it in, hit enter. That is going to install Ralph loop. I'm going to do install for me, and this will install Ralph Wiggum. And it is now all set to go. So here is the prompt we are going to use to build our application with Ralph Wiggum. I'll put this down below so you can just copy and paste this into Claude. I'm about to copy and paste this into Claude as well. Here are the different parts of the prompt. First, First is us invoking the Ralph Wiggum plugin. So that slash Ralph loop is just the Ralph Wiggum plugin itself. Then is the prompt we are feeding into Ralph Wiggum. So kind of the title, which is implement project management tool. We're going to build out a project management tool at Ralph Wiggum. Then we give the requirements. So this is everything we want Ralph to do. So a full project management tool vibe coders can use to build projects. We're going to use Next.js and Tailwind. We're going to have it have Kanban board functionality and have a built in to do list. We want this to be as detailed as we can. Then we have the success criteria. This is the most important part. This is what Ralph will check against with every single loop it does. Because remember, all Ralph Wiggum plugin is, is putting Claude code into a loop until it completes a task. So the success criteria is all requirements implemented. So everything we described in the requirements section, no linter error, so it can't have any errors involved, and documentation updated showing how the app work. So I wanted to write documentation. So after it's done working, whether it's for hours, minutes, days, whatever, we can go back and see exactly what it did. And then the last part here is it checks to make sure the promise is complete. And then we give it max iterations. So this is especially important. If you're on the $20 a month plan or the hundred dollar a month plan, you want it to have a capped amount of iterations so that it doesn't get stuck or go in a loop forever. It can have a certain capped amount, which 30 is usually a good amount. And that's our prompt. 
Again, I put this down below. Feel free to copy and paste it. Now we're going to put this inside Claude. So now we're back in Ghosty. Here's what you want to do is we're going to put the prompt in. Manually type out, so do slash Ralph, and then you can hit tab to autocomplete to make sure you get Ralph loop. Then you can paste in the rest of the prompt we have down below, which describes that project management tool we just went over. So again, type slash Ralph, press tab to autocomplete it, then paste in the rest of the prompt. And I'm going to hit enter on this, and it is going to get to work on building out that application. You will just have to give permission for Claude to run certain commands right after this. And once it's gone, through and you've gave it all the permissions it needs, it will go and now endlessly run Ralph until all of these requirements are complete. So as it works here, again, the important part about Ralph Wiggum that Claude code doesn't do on its own, that Ralph Wiggum does, is it goes back and it after every step, it checks to see if it completed your specific requirements. All this plugin is, is really just giving guardrails and structure to Claude code that says, hey, you can't stop working until this structure and guardrails are complete. In a way, this is really improving Claude code overall. What's amazing about this is because it's so autonomous, you can now multitask better than you could ever before. So what I like to do is I'll open up a brand new terminal window. I'll pop that open and I'll get to work on either a second project on other features and functionality. And now I'm multitasking really well. And the reason why I like to do this in terminals is you can now open up six, seven terminals and your computer won't slow down at all. If you're using Visual Studio Code or Cursor to house Claude code, it's gonna slow your computer down a ton. But now that we're doing this in terminals, it's not using up much memory. We can multitask while Ralph is working one way Window, I go in another terminal, I'm working on other projects, and now we're having better productivity than we've ever had before. That's the benefit of using this plugin. Now, some things to note as this works as well, this is going to use up a lot of usage. Again, so you want to make sure you only use this on complex tasks, and also you want to make sure you're not on the $20 tier. $20 tier, you'll, you'll probably use up all your usage with one Ralph loop, but if you're on the $100, $200 plan, you should be able to do this many times especially if you've capped your iterations. You definitely want to cap your iterations if you are sensitive to the subscription fee. And if you're using the API, you definitely want to cap your iterations because then this could be charging you a ton of money. So because one of the requirements was no linter errors, it is going back and is checking linter errors over and over and over again until there are no errors as a part of this. This Ralph plugin is a great way to make sure you don't get any errors at all with any of your builds because you can make that one of your requirements. Now it's going to build. It's creating the documentation because that was one of our requirements as well. This truly makes it feel like you have an employee working for you. It really is amazing. All right, let's see what happened. Let me verify all success criteria met by running the linter one more time. Okay, so it went through the Ralph loop one more time. All success criteria have been met. That's amazing. So it went through. It shows me everything it built in detail. Detail. Another benefit of Ralph, you get a lot more detail on what it completed. To run the app, we just have to do npm run dev. Let's do this. Complete. So it made sure it complete all of the tasks involved. I love that. Let's do this in Ghosty. We can split this. So let's split right. Then we can do npm run dev. Again, if you want me to go through my entire Ghosty workflow, let me know down below as well. Also, before we test this to see if it worked, if you learned anything at all, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. That is critical. There's a reason why we're the number one vibe coding channel on YouTube now. We make unbelievably valuable videos, so turn on notifications for that. And if you want weekly calls with me, Vibe Coding Academy, link down below. Hundreds of people joining that now. Here we go, NPM Run Dev. It is started running. Let's see what we got here. I'll pull this open. Okay, let's see. All right, Ralph PM, project management for vibe coders. Let's create a new project. This is going to be our Ralph project. The text colors are a little messed up because I have my computer on light mode. Not everyone loves light mode, but, but it messes up a lot of the styling, but we can fix this after. And boom, we have our Kanban board. We have a to-do list. We can add task get started, add the task. It puts it on the Kanban board. Can we click and drag it? We can click and drag it. We have our to-do list, which was another requirement as well. Get the project done, hit enter. We have our to-do list, can I check it off? We can check it off. 
This is a full project management tool that was one shot by Ralph Wiggum, our own new personal development employee. Claude Code was already the most autonomous, incredible AI employee. Ralph Wiggum only makes it more powerful. I hope this was helpful. All the prompts and links you need are down below. Try this out immediately and let me know what you think. I will see you in the next video.